Hi again guys, this is the second video of my DDC video series. Uh, series. Uh, this time we'll be talking about Doc Audio U2 Digital to Digital Converter. Uh, it's a very small device with all metal casing. As you can see, it's Doc Audio Model U2. Uh, funny name, by the way. Uh, it's using micro USB input. Uh, my gripe would be that it's not USB-C, but it's a very minor gripe because, because you can get a USB uh, micro to C converter or just a micro USB cable uh, very cheaply. Or you'll probably have one lying around somewhere in your house uh, after the previous uh, era of the phones using micro USB input. As for the outputs, you have cork shell and uh, fiber optic outputs. And what's interesting about that one, <clears throat> it does conversion from USB audio to coaxial or optical audio, but inside it has uh, XMOS 208 um, chip. So basically this is a quite good quality chip, uh, not the flagship device at the moment, uh, but it was a flagship offering from XMOS uh, about uh, two years ago or something like that. Having XMOS inside allows this device to work with uh, not only PCM but also DSD. Uh, it will support your PCM up to 192 kHz uh, to enter bits and uh, it will support your DSD to 2.8 MHz DSD64 uh, with DOP enabled. Uh, so, something very nice. Uh, the other thing important here is that uh, it'll work with uh, ACO uh, drivers on Windows systems, uh, allowing you to use these higher output frequencies and uh, bit rates and uh, bit depths. Uh, but it'll also work without any kind of driver, but it'll be limited to uh, 96 kilohertz and 60 bits of resolution for the audio. <coughs> so. I highly recommend installing uh, ACO drivers from uh, Exmos. It's very small, it works very well. Uh, for this kind of device, I would have uh, two use cases. The first one is that uh, when you need to connect your older uh, DAC that does not have a USB input to your PC or other type of uh, sound source that's uh, outputting the data stream uh, using USB. Uh, and the second one, not uh, may, maybe not the most obvious one, would be uh, when your AFRL or DAC do have uh, USB inputs, but they are using older ICs to realize to to create this USB input. Uh, why? Because XMOS 208, uh, as I said, uh, not some time ago, was a flagship device, and it uh, has a very good control over the jitter and uh, it improves the sound quality noticeable, uh, noticeable uh, in older DACs. Uh, I have this device because I bought it uh, to use it with my 9 Unity Qt uh, that I had about two years ago, sold now, uh, but I wanted to be able to use uh, Unity Qt uh, with my uh, small uh, audio PC, uh, some very small HD PC. Uh, and Unity Qt, uh, the first generation of Unity Qt, doesn't have uh, USB input. Uh, so I had to get uh, some kind of converter and I've ended up with uh, this Doc Audio U2. It's uh, very cheap right now because you can get it for something like $50. I've paid for it, as far as I remember, something like $65. Uh, so it's cheaper now and it works very well and it gives a really good sound quality. So this is something that I can recommend you. If you have a need uh, for connecting your PC uh, to your AFRL or uh, digital to analog converter um, that has only uh, coaxial or optic fiber input and doesn't have USB input, you can use something like that and uh, the sound quality will be good. Uh, and uh, moving to the Third video in series, I'll talk about this MSL, SMSL PO100 Pro, but that's for another video. See you guys!